Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! And in this one let's take a close look at the new podium vehicle, the Coquette Classic. Well, this thing. I'm gonna be taking you on a 360 around the vehicle, going to Los Santos Customs, customizing it, telling you my thoughts on it, and ultimately, let's see if this vehicle is worth it or not. And with that out of the way, let's start with the 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. And first and foremost, it looks striking, and that's because it's based on the C2 Chevrolet Corvette. And, uh, well, it's probably one of the best looking vehicles ever made in not only GTO line, but ever. In terms of interactivity, this is what you can do with the vehicle. Just let's go through the stupid options that Rockstar gave us here. You can open both of his doors. The hood somehow magically just... <laughs> okay, so it doesn't have a hood animation. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, the hood opens and uh, you see this. I just... Uh, awesome, this pure attention to detail, detail right there. And uh, the rear doesn't open, so... Uh, Cool. The vehicle was released in 2014, which makes it one of the oldest vehicles in the game, and I believe it was released with the first DLC ever for GTA Online. And, uh, yeah, interactivity is kind of on the sucky side, but, uh, yeah, at least you have a party trick when you try to open the hood. <laughs> yeah, they're just so goofy. Anywho, let's jump in and look at how the interior looks. Okay, so it does look very 60s, so kind of fits the bill in terms of the way the vehicle sounds. Very interesting. Now, let's get to Los Santos Customs and let's customize this bad boy. And of course, on our way there, I will be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Coke Classic, but for now, let's just focus on that it's a rear-wheel drive vehicle. And with that, off to Los Santos Customs we go. And as I said, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of it. First and foremost, as I said in the beginning of the video, the looks of the vehicle, just incredible. In-game, it's going to cost you $665,000. It's part of the sports classics category in GT Online. And uh, yeah, in terms of customization, I am kind of worried because it is an older vehicle. 10 years old, to be precise. But other than that, this vehicle, looks-wise, just the way it is, flawless. In terms of performance, it leaves a little bit, well, a lot to be desired, but it's no slouch. Especially for the price and for its category, the only very, very bad component that it has in terms of performance is its brakes. The brakes are just complete garbage. And something else that I want to share with you about the Coke Classic is that this is its first time on the podium. I believe it was twice as a prize ride, but yeah, first time on the podium. Which is kind of interesting, considering that, uh, well, Rockstar likes to give us old vehicles there. And, as said before, this is part of the sports classics category in GT Online. And, uh, yeah, we can sell it for this many dollars. So, $11,000. Really, not that bad. Now, just like we always do, let's upgrade all the performance options up front, so we don't forget anything at the end, and I don't see comments that telling me that I'm stupid. Again. So, let's see, transmission and turbo. And, uh, cool. This also allowed me to skim over the customization, and, uh, well, it's gonna be interesting. So, let's see. Front bumpers. Yep, uh, well, at least they gave us something. I, I gotta say, I, I really like the chrome one, so I'm gonna be keeping it stock. For the rear, I think I'm gonna do... Although, this looks kind of cool as well. Let's see. Can we completely remove the one from the... No, we can make it a different color, but we we can remove it. Interesting. Maybe that's the better option. Tell you what, let's uh, let's be adventurous. Let's remove the front bumper and the rear bumper. So this was the option. Yeah, the the rear part of the vehicle is just insanely, insanely good looking. Kind of reminds me of a 2010 to 20 I don't know 12 Camaro, just by looking at the back of it. Just the tail light design. Anywho. The exhausts. Here are all the exhaust options we can choose from. Just let's wait a little bit for the exhaust to cool. Okay, we can go with the side-mounted exhaust, but that leaves two holes in the rear bumper, which is no bueno. Uh, but uh, mm, probably going with this option, because it kind of fits the bill in terms of hoods. These are all the... well, these are both the ones we can choose from. It's basically the same hood with just different colors. But let's go with the stock one. 
the liveries is something that we can change and I gotta say I kind of am hating liveries as of recently for the past like 10 years in GTA Online. So let's just go with the none option. Although this one looks kind of cool. Hmm. Anywho, let's go with the none option. And the next one we're going to do is the license plate. Of course, we're going to go actually for this one. Probably yellow and black is going to be the best option. The roll cage is something that we're not going to be putting on the vehicle. The roof we can modify. Basically, remove it. Hmm. I don't know which one I prefer. I legitimately don't know which I pre I don't know which one I prefer. This, by the way, is uh, not a convertible, meaning that it can't put its roof on when you press and hold a button in GTA Online, which kind of sucks, but it's also kind of understandable. But you know what? I'm gonna make my convertible. I'm feeling adventurous today. Transmission turbo. We already did the wheels. I'm actually kind of liking those, although let's change them a little bit. Let's go with the muscle car vibe and probably go... Actually, you know what? As I said, I'm feeling adventurous. Okay, probably not that adventurous. $70,000 for wheels? Yeah, that is stupid. Uh, probably gonna go with the... Uh, hmm, let's see. Maybe these ones? Or 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 maybe these ones. Which one were the stock ones? Okay, so let's see. Probably something that kind of resembles them. Because they do look quite good on it. I just want to be able to, in the future, if I want to, change the color of the rims. Which is something that we're not going to be able to do with the stock rims. And why do they need to be so ugly? Maybe these look the... B I don't know. Lowrider rims. Yeah, those look kind of stupid as well. I don't know, why does everybody, everything needs to be so flat? Ooh, this looks kind of cool. Yep, I am going to go with these. Kind of fit the build for me. Uh, the wheel color, not going to be doing now. The tire design, we can... Ooh, interesting. I might come back to that. And it's that part of the video where we respray the vehicle in, well, the video you're watching right now. And for that, I made a poll a couple of days ago asking you guys, the viewers, to tell me what color do you want me to make the vehicle in uh, well, the video you're watching right now and uh, well let's see the poll and drum roll we're gonna be making it red thank you so much to everybody that voted on the poll and hopefully you are gonna be liking what i do with the vehicle oh that's a such a cool color now just for kicks let's see what chameleon colors we have and uh because i think we have red as well yeah that just doesn't look good but what about the pur oh yeah the purple looks cool this one looks cool as well. This one looks cool. And I gotta say, I'm probably gonna go with this one. Even though it's, well, it's kind of reddish. But uh, metallic-wise, let's see. We have pure red. And we have uh, not so pure red. Ooh, this one looks good. I don't know. I'm thinking whether I should uh, just uh, save a little bit of money and just do this. Because this looks awesome. Well, maybe the rims are a little bit too big, but uh, nothing I can do about that now. So, yeah, let's just go with this one. Once again, thank you so much to everybody that voted on the poll. And hopefully you are going to like what uh, the outcome of the vehicle is going to be. Uh, we don't have a secondary color, I guess. The crew emblem we can put on the side, which is something that I was not expecting for a vehicle that was released in 2014. And the last piece of customization that we're going to perform is change the aforementioned wheel color uh putting it with uh yeah this looks kind of tacky so i'm probably not going to do that maybe maybe black maybe or maybe something like this that kind of matches cool and uh, let's see do we want to do this we do not and here we are on the outside fully modified fully customized and let's see how it performs i just noticed that uh, there's something sticking over there hey, so cool never noticed that before probably because it has a lip or something when it's stuck i don't know let's see is it still rear wheel drive well of course it is can it put its roof on by itself whoops wrong button of course it cannot but it can turn on its headlights Something that I want to share with you, and uh, something that you probably noticed by yourself, is that the customization was kind of lacking, which is something that I was afraid of. 
when going to Lord Santos Customs, as I said. But uh, keeping that in mind, this vehicle is really fun to drive. It doesn't cost a lot of money, so even if you don't get it in the week, it's the porting vehicle. You can still get it fairly cheaply for $665,000. The customization, because it is such a lacking... Whoops. Uh, just because it doesn't have a lot of customization, it's fairly cheap to customize it. it. You can't really make it your own, but let's face it. The C2 Corvette, as I said, it's one of the best-looking vehicles ever made, at least in my opinion. And uh, yeah, if you just like convertibles in GTA Online, even though it's not a an active convertible, it's still good in my book. It's probably not gonna win you any races in its class, but uh, yeah, for the cool factor alone, I gotta say you probably cannot go with a better vehicle that looks cooler. And uh, I think with that, we're gonna be ending the video. Thank you so much to everybody that watched. Please like, please subscribe. Let me know definitely what do you think of the Kokia Classic and I will catch you all in the next one. Just look at how cool my guy looks. He doesn't listen to music and he's nodding his head. Now let's see if this is an off-road vehicle as well. Because we like to end the videos like that. And uh, so far, it, it's not looking good. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's really not looking good. So, uh, is it an off-road vehicle? Uh, no, no. Probably, probably not an off-road vehicle.